Well, we knew the matchup between G2 and Fnatic would decide who's at the top of our week six power rankings. And believe it or not, that's exactly what happened. Uh, Fnatic now have a 2-0 record against G2 on the split. And because of that, they're sitting atop our EU power rankings for week six. They move up one spot, flip flop with G2 uh, in those top two spots. Don't think you can really argue those two being there. Uh, third. You got Splice. I got Splice sitting in there just because of this free fall that's happening from Vitality. They do not look confident or really positive at all in a lot of these games. Right, you know, if you're just looking at this strictly off the, off the numbers, you know, win-loss record, you'd have Vitality ahead of them, of course. But recent trends have definitely shown Vitality to be struggling. They haven't been able to put things together again, get everyone operating, get, you know, ride this Jazuki train, ride the mini true packs, you know, train in the bot lane. They have not been able to get things going and it's not even, you know, even Cabo Shark who had been so solid for them in the top lane, everything just really isn't working for them. They need to get bouncing back in order if they want to climb up these power rankings heading towards playoffs. But you're right, Fnatic G2 right at the top, two of the top teams absolutely and with Fnatic besting G2, no way you can't have them up there. And Splice has been a team that, you know, aside from their loss to the Unicorns of Love this week. Hey man, Unicorns look good. Which, hey, you it's do. It's a legit loss. I want to say that's that's all credit to Unicorns of Love picking up that loss. Splice has looked better than Misfits to me in the long run of things. Although I do feel pretty confident with Misfits again, seeing Maxilor put in one of these good, strong performances once again. He is so uh, clutch and vital for this team to get going and I think that if he's operating once again we could see Misfits continue to climb the power rankings but other than that they're pretty much set in stone. Yeah and I know again a couple one-on-one -on -one results again for Misfits and Splice you kind of be like oh how are they so high up in the rankings but I mean in a lot of these games they do they look like playoff teams they look like teams that could potentially make some noise in the playoffs. Uh, Shulka one of the teams that beat Misfits this week, and yeah, they're higher up than Giants who have a better record, but recently I think Shulka has definitely looked better in wins and losses uh, than Giants have. Giants has got destroyed in some of their games, and I just overall their early game seems super weak. One of the weakest in the league, to be honest, thanks to this resurgence <laughs> from H2K and the Unicorns. Yeah, and definitely again, and then you, you mentioned that resurgence, but H2K, Sorry, boys, you find yourself once again at the bottom of our European but power rankings. They gotta win again, though. Yeah, hey, all it's not all doom and gloom. They're at the bottom because, well, they're the bottom. But That's right. it's not because you're absolute trash anymore. It's just because you're not better than the other teams. Yeah, and I mean, Raw Cat had a tough week. That's why they're sliding down a bunch here. I mean, I think two weeks ago, maybe week four is week five, it was like, okay, maybe this team is a playoff squad. But the last three or four games, they have not looked that great. Yeah. Uh, and Unicorns have looked better. Three game win streak, baby. Oh yeah. And definitely, hey, these Unicorns, they could find themselves, and it's it, they're running out of time here because we've only got about six games left, including the two this week, but they can possibly find a way to maybe squeak their Unicorn horn into the playoffs. And once you're in the playoffs, we all know anything can happen because you're getting into the best of five series, finally. And not these best of ones where you might cheese a win or take it away from someone else due to one mistake. These are the best of five series, and you will find out who the better team is. Yeah, and Unicorns, I mean, you've seen Sheepy. He just constantly gets these new rosters to make some noise in the playoffs. But Unicorns, the main reason they have the second longest win streak in the EU LCS right now, Ooh. which is something I thought I would never say in my <laughs> lifetime. I didn't see that coming. Uh, Exile is feeding less. He still was feeding a bit in that splice game. And we asked for a big time. We put a lot of pressure on Exile as a guy who really had been underperforming and had really been getting caught out. And yeah, he's still getting caught out, but not as much. So that's that's a that's a bonus. And I mean, two of their last three games, he's hard carried them. Uh, the Zoe game and then Azir this week, he oh, looked yeah. great. He was still outputting insane damage on the rise against Splice, but I mean, he had seven deaths. At least two or three of those, I think, could have been avoided. <laughs> I think you can easily say that one for sure. But uh, I mean, overall, again, top two, clear separation in EU. Playoffs are still pretty wide open. I mean, even you look at four and eight records on UOL and H2K, I mean, someone like Schalke, they're only one game behind them. So three weeks to go, six weeks left. I think these playoff spots are still wide open in Europe. See, I think that one through four, 
pretty locked up. But I think, yeah, you're very right. Kind of that, that number five, number six spot could be definitely very open. And the way that we see these teams take games off each other in these best of ones, definitely not out of the question. You know, one of these teams in seventh or eighth could find their way into that playoff spot. Get hyped for the final three <laughs> weeks in Europe. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more esports content.